Hey guys, Cash One coming at you with a brand new video today. Today's video is going to be a different kind of video. It's a movie tag video and the name of this is The Simple Movie Tag. And I was tagged by that guy with movies. So thank you so much for tagging me, man. And he was tagged by Blu-ray Ben. So I'm going to leave both of those guys links down below. And you can check their channel out. And I will leave um, everybody who I'm going to tag after this um, list that I got to go through. That I'm going to go through. I will leave everybody's down below also. So, there's 10, 10 questions here, 10 tags, whatever. And the first one is favorite and least favorite movie. So, if you guys watch me, you know what my favorite movie is. And my favorite movie is right back there, you can see on the wall. And that is Alligator. And my least favorite movie is. And I might have mentioned it a few times. And if you know me, you're going to probably know what I'm going to say. And that is The Crying Game is my least favorite movie. So, so anybody out there who likes it, no, no, nothing against you. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But, yeah, The Crying Game. Yeah, okay. So, um, next, uh, number two is my favorite actor and actress. My favorite actor, right up there you can't see, but Arnold Schwarzenegger. And my favorite actress, my lifelong crush, Drew Barrymore. Um, number three, favorite director. Now that's kind of hard. Um, now I'm going the the director I'm going with. I am gonna name three directors, but the one I'm gonna pick for my favorite right now is because two of the movies is on my top five favorite movies of all time. So my um. My favorite directors, John Carpenter, um, uh, John Woo, and Steven Spielberg. And I'm going with Steven Spielberg right now because, uh, like I said, two of my favorite movies in my top five favorite movies are uh, E.T., which is number two, and Jaws, which is my number five. So I'm going with Spielberg right now. And he has a lot of other movies that I like. A lot like the Indiana Jones movies and um it's just you know Spielberg is a really really great director so I mean I'm going towards towards him right now but John Carpenter he has some really really good movies as well and um it will be brought up again in this list but so number four favorite movie genre now it's a tie with horror and action you combine both of those, I'm in heaven. Um, but I'm gravitated towards a lot of like 80s, and then you get to like teen 80s movies, stuff like that. But horror and action, I, you know, a lot more horror, but I love both genres almost equally. So, but I I do love a lot of horror movies. So, um, it's kind of a tie right there, guys. But, uh, Let's see, let's see, number six, favorite animated movie. My favorite animated movie of all time is Bambi. Uh, number seven, favorite soundtrack or score. So, favorite soundtrack, again, it's going to be like ties and toss-ups, but I'm an 80s guy, so a lot of my favorite soundtrack stuff is 80s stuff. So, I'm throwing out there Rocky IV. Um, Barry Hills Cop 2, and, uh, probably Footloose for my favorite soundtracks. And there's a lot of other ones, too, but those are the ones that, I, like, pop in my head that I have, like, a lot of favorite songs in those. And my favorite score? Star Wars. I'm looking up there because my Star Wars thing is up there. Yeah, my favorite score, Star Wars. Love Star Wars score. Um, number eight, best cinema experience. Well, I have a story, but I don't know if it's like my best cinema like experience. But um, it, let's see, ninety four when Lion King came out, it came out and it was re released. Uh, you know, it was a huge success. It was re released uh like for the second time, and my mom, she wanted to take uh me, my brother, and my mom's friend at the time was um. She was uh, really, really doing well, you know, helping us out and stuff. My dad had just passed away, so she was helping out a lot. And my mom wanted to, like, treat her 
to the, to a movie with us and take take us all out and stuff. So we went to go see The Lion King. Now, I, you know, as a teenager at the time, I was like kind of like a, you know, I don't want to see The Lion King. I'm like, this is a kid's movie. What one was The Lion King for? I wanted to see Stargate. So, but, you know, we went. The thing was like sold out, packed, packed to, to the brim, like every wall to wall people, you know. We didn't even get to sit together. So I'm in the front row with like dead center with 20 kids. I swear, 20 kids. And my mom, my brother, they're off to the side, like by the fire exit. She's on like the stairs and he's in his wheelchair. And then my mom's friend, she's like in the back row. But she said from where she was sitting, she could see me like, you know, right in, in the middle of all those kids. And I'm sitting there, I'm out, I'm out pounding and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, man, I don't want to see this movie. I'm sitting there, sitting there with my nachos and stuff. The kids, they knock into me. They make me spill my nachos. I'm like, man, I'm getting nachos on me. and cheese. I'm like, come on. I don't even want to see this movie. But I swear, like, halfway through, the, the you know, the, um what is it, Elton John theme kicks in. You know, can you feel the love tonight? The movie hit me. And after that, I was just like, and my mom said she could see me from where I was at. She said I looked like a big kid sitting there watching that movie. So, so I guess that that is an experience for me. It's still dear, near, dear, near and dear to my heart. And Lion King is is one of another one of my favorite uh, animated movies. But let's see. So we're now we're at number nine. Favorite guilty pleasure. Now, a lot of you guys probably hate this movie with a passion, but I love it. I'm a huge 80s guy again, and that is Howard the Duck. Now, I've seen this movie so many times. I've seen it probably over 100. I used to watch this all the time as a kid. I would play it at night. Me and my brother would watch it, going to bed, we'd fall asleep watching, the, watching Howard the Duck. And, um... I got to meet uh, Ed Gale a few years back at, at one of the conventions, and he was a really, really cool guy. I told him, like, man, I'm a huge fan, dude. I love Howard the Duck. I saw this movie so many times growing up as a kid. I saw it, like, over 100 times. He's like, man, you must have drove your parents crazy with it. I'm like, no, nah, they was cool with it. And um, he was just happy. You know, he's like, he rem he was telling me a story. He remembered, like, when it first came out, everybody hated Howard the Duck. They used to, like, really make fun of it. There was always that, that ongoing... Uh, joke where they would say you know in the sitcoms and stuff and they were like oh you yeah, watch how the duck oh no not that you know but um yeah so how the duck favorite guilty pleasure um and the last number 10 favorite form film oh wait did i skip over something i did i skipped over something here so that's how i am guys so we're going to go number 10. I'm going to go back up to number 5 because I did not say that. So number 5, I mean number 10, favorite foreign movie. Um, uh, Hard Boiled, with, you know, directed by John Woo. Awesome action movie, guys. If you guys haven't seen Hard Boiled, highly recommend checking it out. It's an amazing, amazing uh, action movie. John Woo at his best. Chow Young Fat at his best. Definitely, definitely check that out, guys. Um, so let's see. Number five was favorite horror movie, and I don't know how I skipped over that. So I went to genre, and then I went to anime. Yeah, I always skipping over stuff, guys. So yeah, favorite horror movie. Um, Halloween. Favorite horror movie. Now, Alligator is a horror movie too, but because I already mentioned that, I'm not gonna say that again. So. My favorite is Halloween. It's a masterpiece. John Carpenter, like I said, one of my favorite directors. Um, gets everything right. Can't go wrong with that. And it's also, it's close to being, like, like I would say, rich, like, it's my favorite score. But Star Wars is, is always. so. But that's an awesome score as well. The theme for Halloween. So, um, that was the 10. Uh, again, favorite. Um, favorite movie, favorite movie, Alligator, least favorite, Crying Game, favorite actor, Arnold, least favorite, no, um, not least favorite, least, I'm not going to even say least favorite, favorite actress, Drew Barrymore, favorite director, Steven Spielberg, favorite genre, 
Action Horror Tide. Uh, favorite horror movie, Halloween. Favorite animated, Bambi. Favorite soundtracks are Footloose, Beverly Hills Cop 2, and Rocky 4. And favorite score, Star Wars. And then my experience, I told you, was from The Lion King, from Movie Experience. Favorite guilty pleasure, well, How the Duck. And my favorite foreign film was Hard Boiled. Now, tagging three, at least three, but I have five down here. So if you guys that I'm tagging right now, if you don't want to do it, it's fine. And if I don't tag you and you want to do this, go for it, guys. Um, you know, let's keep this rolling. This is fun for everybody in the community. So first, we're going to tag the whore, the whore. I'm going to tag you. Next, we're tagging Matthew Movies. Um, Nick on Flick. Gen Reviews from the Grave. And the last one, which he's a little bigger YouTuber, so most likely might not do it. But if he does, if you do a man, awesome. Flicks and movies. So um, for everybody there, I'm going to leave their links down below. Check them out. All awesome. Now, uh, the horror of horror, she does reviews. She does um, Blu-ray hauls. She does uh, horror pack. She does all kinds of cool stuff over there. If you haven't, If you don't know who that is, go check her out. Uh, Matthew Movies, he does um, movie reviews mostly, awesome. Uh, Nick on Flick, he's a younger Bluetuber, does a Blu-ray out and about and uh, Blu-ray updates, really cool. Jen Reviews from the Grave, she does a lot of uh, horror review, movie reviews, and uh, horror block unboxings, and uh, horror, what is it, uh, Fright Creek unboxings, and... Um, Flicks and movies, well, he does uh, Blu-ray huntings, uh, Blu-ray updates, um, stuff like that, all related to movies. So, all five awesome, awesome guys, um, guys and gals. And um, that's about it, guys. And this video is getting long, about 12 minutes. As always, guys, Blu-rayness is awesomeness. Until next time.